Hi everyone, so today we are here with Avery's 22 slash 23 month update. <laughs> you eating a pretzel? So Avery's just going to hang out next to me eating her pretzel and holding on to her juice bottle right now. But I wanted to film in here. This is actually our second bedroom. Brian's brother lived here when we first moved in for the first six months because he wanted to move out on his own, whatever, yada yada. But he did just recently move out, so we are going to be turning it back into Avery's room. Her crib is over here, and she does have some things over here. But I figured it would be cool to kind of film in here because where I typically film, she doesn't have a much, like very much room to like run around and play because I'm sitting in like a chair. In here, she can just kind of crawl around. So she has a pretzel. She's just hanging out. She did just get a bath, so her hair looks kind of like a mullet. But we typically do it. But we just we just got a bath. But she has a lot of hair. Alright, so we didn't film her 22 month update. December was such a crazy, hectic month for us between everybody being sick, traveling, birthdays, holidays, things like that. So it was kind of a very hectic month, so we did not film. But I did want to do still her monthly update, so I just figured I would combine them since um, basically the same things. I would be saying the same things. What are you doing? You cozy? You just want to hang out? Okay. So I do have a lot to talk about. I'm really excited to tell you guys everything. Yeah. Are you being clingy? Okay. So as far as her height and weight, I'm still sure she's somewhere around the 30 pound mark and I'm unsure of her height. She does have a doctor's appointment a couple of days after her two year. Um, I might actually then for her two year update film that then because I would like to have all the information. So um, her two year appointment is two days after her birthday but I think I'm going to have her update then up after that because I want to have all the correct information. So I just have no definites right now just because I'm unsure she hasn't had an appointment since 18 months. Um, let's see, I have something else. Okay, she is still in size 4 diapers. We tried size 5, so I think she's trying to leave me. See ya! She's out of here. Hi. Hey! Hi! See you later! Oh, careful! Later! Bye! Bye. Bye. Yay. See you later. Uh, so like I said, we did try size fives, but they were just too big, so we went back to size fours. She is in mostly size 2T clothing. Um, she can fit into some 24 month, but 2T is pretty much where we're at. I'm trying to think what's on the wall, sorry. Okay, so she is showing currently some signs of teething. She should be getting her two-year molars here soon. Uh, she has been chewing on her fingers, and she's been getting kind of a runny nose, and she wakes up occasionally at night, so I definitely think she is showing a couple of signs of teething still, and that would attribute to the two-year molars. Um, sleeping. Sleeping is pretty much the exact same sleep schedule. She takes a two-hour nap, two to three-hour nap every day, and then she sleeps about 10 to 12 hours at night, which is really, really nice. We have a very good sleep schedule that she sticks to and she's been really good about that. The one thing that has kind of changed I feel and it's definitely very like toddler-esque of her is that before nap and before bed she's extremely naughty. Um, she just gets in trouble and she just does not listen. She is such a good listener and then when she's like tired she's such a little punk. Um, she like goes and gets into the cabinets and then goes into the pantry and pulls everything out and then we have to like be like Avery no because try and discipline her and she's just super super naughty and then falls asleep and that's something that happens pretty much every single day before nap and every single night before bedtime she just gets really 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 naughty and uh, doesn't listen so that happens a lot more she's also really really clingy towards me now at night um, the past I would say couple of weeks every like night around like 2 to 4 in the morning I will wake up to her like getting very very close to me and like curling up into me so she is very very clingy at night and we are still co-sleeping I know a lot of people ask about co-sleeping we are still co-sleeping it's just for me and her really at this point we both love it but she does take naps 
um, on her own and then she does sleep she does fall asleep at night on her own in our bed and then we just climb in with her later so she can sleep by herself and I'm also kind of I don't know like this will be turned into her room but I also feel like if you watched our apartment tour on our second channel on our vlog channel I feel like her room is just ridiculously too far away from our room and it's like right next to the front door which like gives me like it just freaks me out a little bit so I like to keep her kind of close I don't know she's, she's my baby so I can't really say anything about that um, she still eats really really well she's a really great eater um, we did move her well at her daycare she was sitting in just like a little chair a little like table set and chairs with her little friends and so we decided to move her out of the high chair um, about a month ago she was at the high in the high chair at home and our high chair was like a cool little thing that you could take it apart and it turned into a seat and a table so she has her little table at our house now which is nice uh, so she sits for her meals she always tells us when she's hungry by going and sitting down and like yelling at us which is so funny because she thinks that we can just like whip food up out of like thin air. Like we can just like, ah, there's your food. But um, it takes a little bit. But yeah, she always will let us know she's hungry by going and sitting at her table. She does sit really, really well while she eats. Um, she'll pretty much eat everything that's on her plate. And then when she's done, she will get up and hand her plate to you to let you know that she is done. Um, and she does that pretty much every single night. But she still eats very, very well. We haven't had any issues with her eating. So I, I'm very grateful for that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, as far as knowing her schedule, um, she definitely knows her schedule during the weekdays really, really well. She knows in the mornings when I wake her up and we're getting ready, and then once she's ready, she knows to go stand by the front door and wait for us. Um, she's really, really good about that. She has her schedule when she comes home from daycare. She'll come home and immediately go sit on the couch and let me take off her shoes and like fix her hair or take her hair out. And cause we have her hair is like pretty much up every single day because it gets in her face. So I either have it like up or in pigtails, whatever. And she just knows, like, she's really, really good about her schedule. Um, she knows on bath nights after we're done in the bath, she helps clean up. And she knows to lift her arms up to get out. And she, as soon as we're out of the bath, she immediately, like, yells because she knows that it's time to get her teeth brushed. And she likes brushing her teeth. So she knows her schedule, which is really, really nice for us. Um, another thing I was going to mention, the discipline thing, because she has been naughty. Um, we've tried timeout. We, I put her in timeout for one minute. I said a minute per age, so she's one right now. So she sits in timeout for one minute, uh, which is not very long, but it's so long to her, I'm sure. But um, we have gotten to the point where she's been so naughty that we've had to do a timeout. Um, saying no just doesn't really work that much anymore, especially for a toddler literally going through her terrible twos right now. But she's she's still very very good, but she is kind of kind of naughty. Um, so a couple of just other random things I wrote down is that she sings in the car now, she dances a lot. Um, she's very curious about things, like if I'm doing something, she has to know what I am doing constantly. Like I come home for the most part and, you know, do schoolwork and she like immediately like will come and find me and see what I'm doing and want to sit with me and the same with Brian. Um, she's very clingy to the both of us, which we've noticed a lot more recently. She's like super up our butts all the time, which is fine, but it's actually pretty funny. Um, she also gets... Frustrated, frustrated super easily um, if something isn't going the way she wants it to, like when she's building her Legos or doing anything. She gets really, really frustrated and just throws her toys. Um, and she does yell at us sometimes too, which is pretty funny. So as far as talking, actually today was so funny. We were sitting in the car and I was looking at her and I was like, we were getting out of the car to come up to our apartment. And I was like, hey, hey. And she just kept going, hey. Hey, it was just so funny. We were saying hey back to each other, and then when I tried to uh, film it on camera, like have my phone and film it, she like freaked out because she wanted my phone. Um, but she does say hey. She does say okay. This is really funny. She says, well, let me just like product of like my child is a product of me. She says oh wow, but she says it really really sarcastically. She's like oh wow, oh wow, which is like pretty much what I say 24 seven. I'm like oh wow. Like I'm super sarcastic, so she's definitely a product of me. But she says, oh, wow, yeah, okay, no, mama, dad, dad, baba, all like the basic stuff. Hey, hi, bye. Um, the, I think the newest words were, oh, wow. And she has said daddy, which is really, really cute. And bye. And she's always said three when we count to three. 
Oh, something else I forgot to mention too before I talk about the speech therapy thing um, was that whenever I say, aww, aww, Avery, she'll hug like a stuffed animal. So like if she's holding a stuffed animal or like a baby doll and you say, aww, Avery, she hugs it like really, really tight, which is really, really cute. So anyway, now that that's all, I think all of the new things that she kind of does, she just like learns every single day. Like I feel like she's constantly developing now, like every single day there's a new thing that she does or like that she learns and it's actually really, really cute. But so we did have her speech therapy evaluation. It was kind of like a, what was it? Early childhood intervention, kind of like an, so an early childhood sort of like evaluation and they evaluated a lot of different areas other than speech. So they did, I don't even remember, they just like assessed so many different areas and I was had the paper and I was going to bring it in but I totally forgot about it but she met every single thing with either at her age where she's supposed to be or a slightly above or I think one thing she was like really ridiculously above which was awesome but the one thing that she isn't really quite meeting she is still speaking at like a 14 to 15 month level which is obviously not where she needs to be so they asked us if we wanted to go ahead and continue with the speech therapy so we obviously decided to because we're very proactive about things for her and um, I would definitely like to better her as much as I can um, so we did go ahead and sign Avery up for speech therapy I like the way they do it because I was kind of expecting it to be something where she has to go to the speech therapy to the actual office once a week or every other week um, but what they actually do is they come to us so they'll go to her daycare um, or they'll come to our house and just kind of see her in her environment which I feel is a little bit easier for her because when she's in a new environment she's obviously very shy and not very prone to like acting like herself um, but when she's you know in her usual environments she's very comfortable so she does have her first evaluation I believe Tuesday which I'm excited for it's at daycare so I won't be there but I will definitely get a call afterwards or I will call them afterwards to see how it went um, but like I said we are hoping they have a three-month goal set for her and then they said after the three months if she still needs to be um, at a different place or if she's not quite where she needs to be we will continue with it it's just all a matter of it I think every three months is how they want to look at it which is actually exciting so she is talking a little bit more now but it's gonna be really cool to have her finally be where she needs to be um, and saying words like more words and talking to us I'm really excited about it although she does understand what we're saying she just can't quite get out what she wants to say so she like totally understands what I say when I'm like let's go take a bath or let's eat dinner she totally understands um, but she's not quite there as far as saying it back so the evaluation went really well like I said she excelled in everything but speech which we all know that was going to happen so I'm very happy that she's going to be in speech therapy and I think it's going to be really good for her um, now like getting it so early because I was gonna wait till she was two but when the hospital was like hey is there anything you're concerned about and I just like briefly mentioned it they set it up for us awesome I'm like actually really happy about it so and it was so cute too when we were at the assessment there was two women there was one that was kind of chatting with Brian and I trying to understand like Avery and her like daily routine and what she does and doesn't do and then there was another woman who was actually like assessing Avery like you know seeing if she'll mimic her seeing if she understands like she would put something under a cup and move the cup and see if Avery could find where like what cup it was under so it was really cute because Avery kept getting like kind of frustrated and she would express herself like if she would take away a toy to move on to a different evaluation like a different test with a new toy Avery would get mad because she wanted to play with that previous toy and she would like stomp her feet and get all frustrated and it was funny because the woman kept saying oh, she's such a leader a woman after my own heart she's such a leader and I was like yes she is uh, but yeah so that is pretty much it for her 22 to 23 month update I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to update you on I mean like I said she's developing and doing new things each and every day it's super exciting to see um, she's such a good kid and I love her so so much she's so cute and I wish she was in here but she ran away from me um, she's also probably tired because it's getting close to bedtime. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I will be doing her two-year update a few days after she turns two, just so I have all of the information from the doctor and everything, everything that's, like, necessary. And I will update you on, like, the speech therapy and stuff like that, too, because I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, and then after two years, I'm not sure, but I'll probably talk about that in that video on if we'll keep up with monthly updates or if I'll do, like, every six months. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.